Car safety has improved drastically over the years, and one company appears to be leading the pack. Teslas have consistently received five-star ratings from organizations that perform crash tests, such as the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. One reason you'd be safer in a Tesla is that the electric cars don't have an engine. So all that steel and aluminium at the front crumples and absorbs much of the impact, preventing it from being transmitted to the occupants. The lack of an engine isn't the only reason they're safe, but it also has to do with the overall structure of the vehicle. They're difficult to roll over because they have a low center of gravity since the heavy battery pack and the electric motors sit low in the vehicle. The American Road Safety Regulator, NHTSA, determined that the mid-size SUV, the Model Y, has a rollover risk of just about 8%. Tesla says that's the lowest risk of any SUV ever built and lower than the chances of the Model X flipping over. In an unfortunate event, if it does overturn, the Tesla relies on the strength of its roof to protect the people inside. The Model 3's roof has been found to resist more than 20,000 pounds of force. This force is nearly six times its own weight, or as Tesla points out, it can withstand the weight of about two full-grown African elephants. The part of a car that offers the least amount of protection is the side, since there's no area designed to crumple, unlike the front and rear ends. To get over this side panel weakness, Teslas have been heavily reinforced with ultra-high-grade steel, shown in teal blue, while the battery pack also acts as a barrier. If there is a side collision, the Model 3 has a thick curtain airbag that also contributes to a high safety rating. We also have a real-world example to prove this fact. In Oregon, a Model S driver crashed into a pole, hit two trees, and a telephone box. The impact was so severe that hundreds of small batteries that worked together to power the Tesla were ejected onto the road. Despite such a severe damage, the driver walked away with only minor injuries. Teslas have also been engineered to try to prevent accidents in the first place. A safety feature detects when the vehicle is drifting into another lane and then steers itself back and the automatic emergency braking recognizes obstacles and stops the car on its own. But there are still some kinks to be ironed out. When European safety experts, Euro Enca, tested the braking system on a Model X, it avoided hitting a dummy resembling a child while traveling at 25 km an hour. But when it was traveling at 30 km an hour, it crashed into the dummy child. It reduced the speed before impact but could not avoid the crash. This type of technology isn't new. Volvo introduced an auto braking function over a decade ago, but Teslas differ because of their more advanced sensors, which should technically be better at avoiding collisions. A combination of cameras, radar, and ultrasonic sensors help with the navigation. Tesla's goal is to eventually have the vehicles drive themselves with no human driver at all. You might say, level 5 autonomy is the holy grail. Tesla's not quite there yet, but is moving in that direction. Selected customers have been able to beta test its full self-driving software, which works on both city streets and highways without any help from the driver. However, the driver still has to pay attention and be ready to step in if the vehicle fails to respond properly. So it's not yet autonomous, and if you ask rivals, that won't ever happen. The CEO of Waymo, formerly known as Google's self-driving project, dismissed Elon Musk's company as a competitor, saying he doesn't think Teslas will ever be autonomous. Elon Musk fired back, tweeting, Tesla has better AI hardware and software than Waymo. Tesla's full self-driving software is believed to be propelling its vehicles from level 2 autonomy to level 3. The tech is a considerable improvement from autopilot, which is cruise control, but fewer features than full self-driving, and is most often limited to highway use. 
As per Tesla's recently released accident data, autopilot is closing in on being about 10 times safer than human drivers. Tesla registered one accident for every 4.19 million miles driven on which autopilot was engaged. Tesla drivers who did not have autopilot engaged but had activate safety features enabled reported one accident for every 2.05 million miles driven. Those who had neither autopilot nor active safety features on registered one accident for every 978,000 miles. In comparison, the most recent data from the NHTSA notes that the United States sees one automobile crash every 484,000 miles. This clearly shows how safe Tesla Autopilot is. Also with the recent FSD Beta V9 update, Tesla has shown the world its amazing progress on full self-driving. But, with any system that isn't fully autonomous, the driver has to remain alert. Not doing so can have fatal consequences. In 2018, a Model X on autopilot drove into a concrete barrier in California, killing the Apple engineer who had been playing a game on his iPhone and failed to take over the steering of the car. Although there have been concerns about the safety of automated Teslas, the company has still received stellar safety ratings with each new model it produces. But 5 stars is not necessarily unprecedented. The gas-powered Lexus S350 and the electric Audi e-tron both scored an overall safety rating of 5 on the NHTSA scale. What's most important is the likelihood of someone getting injured or killed. Tesla once touted the mass-market Model 3 as the safest car ever built. Regulators took issue with that bold statement. In a letter to Tesla, NHTSA accused the company of misleading consumers because they said it was inappropriate to rank vehicles of different weights. Tesla shot back, saying its statement was based on NHTSA's own calculations. Also, recently, Tesla installed the world's largest die-casting machine. This machine will replace 70 pieces of metal into one single piece of casting for Model Y. Giga casting will help achieve a 40% reduction in rear underbody cost savings. Also, the new single-piece casting design will deliver a 30% reduction in the size of the body shop. Using the Giga Press also eliminates alignment problems caused by the combination of several smaller parts, resulting in higher quality vehicles. This clearly shows how Tesla is working consistently at improving its vehicle's safety. So, depending on who you ask, it's up for debate whether Teslas are the safest vehicles out there. But it appears they're leading the pack, and as the technology continues to improve, the hope is that safety will accelerate more with it. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.